Hey, good morning. Huh, to you. It's evening here. I was trying to get out here in time to get the sunset. Back here. <clears throat> Don't know that I've done it. But we'll see. All right. It's been a beautiful day. We got back uh, about <clears throat> 4 o'clock our time uh, from Kansas City. It was a beautiful time up there. We really had a, had a good time. Uh, well needed. <laughs> we did. We enjoyed that. So I started to do this video this morning on 1st Timothy 4.8. And uh, I told Marsha, you know, I think I'll just go out there and, and catch a little bit of sunlight. And we'll do a video. Put this up in the morning. So that's what we're going to do. While we still have some sunlight. All right, I'm headed up over here to the, back over here, this way, but I gotta get over here to get up here to it. Man, it's been pretty today. We've had a gorgeous day. You know, God's been, been good to us. It's really nice. I wanted y'all to be able to see the sunset out here. You know what we... What we look at here in the and when, as the summer comes on, the sun will go more towards the middle of that, and it'll it lights that whole area up just brilliant. Uh, and the sunsets are beautiful out here. The sun rises we don't see until after the sun's already up and it comes out on the trees, <laughs> then we can see uh, the sunrise after it's already up. But this way. Um, we see something here that <clears throat> most people can't see. All right. So anyway, that's our beautiful sunset. All right. Now, 1 Timothy 4.8. Now, these are the references tied to it. I've got 1 Timothy 4.8. Now, there's a word in here that uh, cloy, C-L-O-Y. And so I thought I'd, I'd look, I had to look that word up because I didn't remember what that word meant. I didn't know. <laughs> I never, I never heard it. Uh, it. Cloy means to cause distaste or disgust by spending, or I'm sorry, to cause distaste or disgust by supplying with too much of something originally pleasant, especially something rich or sweet. Cloy. Now, that's in the reference of 1 Corinthians 8, verse 8. You'll find that with that word. Now, here's how this plays out. This is the first Timothy 4, 8, and there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, or 7 references to it. All right? For bodily exercise is beneficial for a few things, yet devoutness is beneficial for all having promise for the life which now is, and that which is impending. That which is impending. It's got a good sound to it, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Now, food will not give us a standing with God, neither if we should not be eating are we in want, nor if we should be eating are we cloyed. If then you died together with Christ, from the elements of the world why as living in the world are you subject to decrees you should not be touching nor yet tasting nor yet coming into contact with which things are all for corruption from use in accord with the directions and teaching of men which are having indeed an expression of wisdom and a willful ritual and humility and Accessions, Assectins, A-S-C-E-T-I-C-I-S-M. That's a lifestyle uh, character, characterized by uh, abstinence, that word. <clears throat> Let me back up. Uh, having an expression of wisdom in a willful ritual and humility of accessions from sensual pleasures for the purpose of pursuing spiritual goals not of any value toward the surfeiting or gratification of the flesh. 
<clears throat> I had a that's what that accessions means, accessions or however you pronounce it, is a lifestyle characterized by abstinence from sensual pleasures for the purpose of pursuing pursuing spiritual goals. So I'll reread that verse. I messed it up, but that's what that word means, and I had no idea. I seen it, and I had I I have to write them out to remember them, right? So when I get the word accessions, that's what it means. And I'm probably not even pronouncing the thing right. <laughs> I do that. I, I, I try. All right. We'll try it again. This is that same one. If then you died together with Christ from the elements of the world, why, as living in the world, are you subject to decrees? Like you should not be touching, nor yet tasting, nor yet coming into contact. Which things are all for corruption from use, in accord with the directions and teaching of men, which are having indeed an expression of wisdom in a willful ritual and humility and accessions, from uh, not of any value toward the surfeiting of the flesh. Uh, surfeiting is is uh, gratification. Now devoutness with contentment is great capital. For nothing do we carry into the world, and it is evident that neither can we carry anything out. Faithful is a saying, and I am tending you to be insistent concerning these things, that those who have believed God may be concerned to preside for ideal acts. Now, we are aware that God is working all together for the good of those who are loving God, who are called according to the purpose of that whom he foreknew he designates beforehand. These he calls also, and whom he calls, these he justifies also. Now whom he justifies, these he glorifies. So that let no one be boasting in men, for all is yours, whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death or the present or that which is impending, all is yours. Yet you are Christ's. Yet Christ is God's. And that's references to 1 Timothy 4, 8. <clears throat> so we won't be adding anything to Scripture. I'll put that, put that up. And we'll call that good. How's that? How's that? It's a beautiful, been a beautiful day. Been a good road trip. We had a good time with our family up there. Um it's just I, I, me and Marshall was thinking you know if we could uh, get us a little uh, travel trailer to put in behind our car and just travel you know go see things and, and see things that we've been wanting to see we'll see what happens I'm not sure that we can do it but we thought about it it's crossed our mind more than once and going up and visiting with Elizabeth and, and our son Blake he was up there. He's in Kansas City also. They live about 20 minutes apart, which is pretty nice. You go up and see two of your children and their their kids uh, once or twice a month. Be pretty nice. Uh, so, anyway, I can hear squirrels up here in the timber. I took a walk up over the over the back of it. Uh, a while ago when we got home, I went for a walk. Hey, get out in the woods. So we walked up on the top part and looked and uh, stood up there and deer was seen us. And uh, me and Austin, our son-in-law, he walked up with me. And uh, so peaceful, so nice, you know. No traffic. <laughs> no houses so close that you could throw a rock and hit them. You can hear your neighbors there. They're talking across the way, across the street, and you could hear them sitting in the living room with the windows up. You could hear everything going on outside. You know, in town living, uh, it's something that that we never have enjoyed. We lived there for five years in town, uh, but that was because of health issues, and uh, we had to sell everything and move up there because they couldn't take care of the property. So here we are, out here enjoying life. Right? What else are we going to do? We got to do something while we're here. Might as well enjoy it. <laughs> anyway, 
<clears throat> I love you guys and I appreciate you. And uh, we'll do this again soon, all right? I'll talk to you tomorrow. Go see what God's got for you tonight, all right? I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. See you then.